to Crafty Chat. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. Cause the world it is burning and rich people are complaining about all the things. Welcome to Crafty Chats. <laughs> Merry Christmas, it's the holiday season. It's the holiday episode. And you know what that means? It means that we all need a drink. Hey! Yeah, also this show, again, as we've said many times, is not to enable anyone or to invalidate struggles with alcohol. Please drink responsibly or even not at all, which is usually my choice, but for some reason I torture myself with this show. Um, are there a couple of notes we need to have on the front end? Um, yes, we are sorry. It's taken us a freaking minute to get back. Let me we are sure. failures. It's as if we're not even making it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> available in the link below, making it t-shirts. We w do want to say, first of all, that we did have a little contest. We did. And there is a winner. There is. And her name is Jackie Kelly. Jackie Kelly! <laughs> Thank you so much. We pulled, we put random names into an Excel and just pulled one out. No, really, like y'all participated. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah, uh, Jackie, just comment your email or uh, we'll, we'll reach out to you and we'll get you that $100 Specs gift card. Yeah. So great. Jackie's going to have a happy holiday season. Yes. Okay, let's get this started. Let's jump in. Okay, okay so it's the holiday episode. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. And so I was thinking like maybe a spiced rum or something like that, but I decided against it because I'm allergic to artificial cinnamon. This is not a TED oh. talk about my allergies. So I didn't do anything like that, but I did bring something straight from Mexico. It is the Ancho Reyes Ancho Chili Liqueur. Now most liqueurs are like 15% alcohol by volume. 10% alcohol by volume. This is a solid 40% alcohol by volume. This will get your life. And that's what we're gonna do today. Wait, Merry so Christmas. this said holiday? You said spicy and will put you sideways? Spicy First and will put you sideways. I really need this bottle after you're done with it. Okay. This needs to be a candle. Yeah, it is very pretty. Yeah, we can totally, if y'all would like to see us do breaking glass <clears throat> as a craft, uh, just let us know. Okay, Ancho Reyes, straight from Pueb Pueblo, Mexico. He said straight from Pueblo, Mexico. Pueblo, Mexico. They call this the spirit of Pueblo, Mexico. So here's the deal. We're gonna take a sip of this without ice just to get the, the flavor. But I really prefer it with a little, like a couple ice cubes. Uh, and you'll see why here in a moment. You said Christmas spicy liquor. I guess, okay, you know what? Let me stop, let me shut up and just- Sniff it. Do you know what the difference between an ancho chili and a uh, poblano chili is? No. It's the same exact chili, except for the ancho is sun-dried for 20 oh, days. Oh yeah, chili ancho. The, so the, the sun-dried chili It is ancho. a sun, so that is literally what this is. They, I grew up uh, soaking them in water, like okay. big, big, big bags of them. And then we'd soak them in water and blend them and put them in our tamale masa yeah. and our tamale meat. So similarly, they hand pick these, hand cut them in half. Uh, well, they, they put them in the sun for 20 days, then they cut them one by one, then they soak them in a uh, like a like a, a sugar cane mix from Veracruz, Mexico, for a year. And this is what you get. What do you smell? Foyer! Yeah, it just smells like algae hall. Yeah. Okay, we have to taste. It's been a long time since we had to. <laughs> okay. Taste. I think you're gonna like it. It is so good. What is this? Is rum? Is what? No, it's um. Just a liqueur. It's it is sugar cane from Veracruz, peppers from Pueblo. It just feels like it's gonna hurt me. Okay, look, look. Did you sip it? I did. It's sweet. It's spicy. It's cool. I would like it in a drink. Yeah, it's a like, good mixer. This seems like with like a like fresh limonada, like a little bit of fresh uh, limeade. So <laughs> <like>, Lily <laughs> <Nelly> just went. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so here's what I did. I made a paloma at home. Yes. So silver tequila, yeah. grapefruit, and then I put a shot of this. Why in don't it. we do that here? That's okay. You're gonna have okay. it on ice. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Put it on ice, son. Put it on ice. Take a salt tablet. Um, but it's really, really sweet. Did you expect yes, the it sweetness? Is, it is sweet. It's very, very sweet. But on the back end, it tastes like you're eating salsa. So no, okay. Look how, okay, wait, the wait, iced wait. experience was much different. Look uh -huh. how pretty it is. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it is just gorgeous. 
All right, I'm done with this drinking stuff. Are you good? Can we move on? <laughs> I just come here for the drinking. Okay. We could just do this. We don't have to move on. No, we are going to make holiday Christmas cards. Cards? Okay, I, I hate Christmas cards. I like your pictures of you and your cat and your child, but cards, like greeting cards, feel like such a waste of trees to me. But this is the thing, we're not only making Christmas cards, we're actually going to carve a stamp in which we will stamp our own Christmas card. So okay, let's opening take- kit. Opening kit. Yeah. Take out your stuff. Okay, get the instructions, first of all, and just Oh, see, no, this is where, this is where our roads diverge. No. I don't throw instructions I've, away. I've taken many classes in printmaking. I have not. I am an expert. Follow instruction number one is throw out the instruction book. Let's take an assessment of all the things that we have in your little kit. I have a, 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 a stick. So we have, okay, that, that is the handle of your carving tool. So speed haul. Speedball. Yeah, speedball. Okay, got it. And you have the carving tips. Yes. Okay, then you have tracing paper. We're not gonna use this just because, don't throw, it's, this is very useful. We're just gonna be very simple today. And uh, you need a Sharpie. So go ahead and open your carving piece, which by the way, um, this rubber material, I make stamps all the time in the Glowforge. Oh, that's not paper? No, this is not paper. I thought Open it was it. like a stack of sticky notes. No, it's rubber. So you can actually... <laughs> what? That was inappropriate. <laughs> hey. Ow! Oh! I just oh. did the thing! Ow, and I usually, I have like devilish high fives. Oh my God, that made me blush. It hurts so much. Great job. To your okay, non instructions. So all we're going to do is we're going to carve something festive and Christmassy on here. I think I'm going to do... Like freehand? Um, Since we're, we're not using the trace We're gonna paper? use a Sharpie to draw on a simple shape. And then we're gonna carve away the things that aren't that shape. And then we're gonna carve away at the other things. And then we will use ink to stamp our card. And then there's one final fun step that we have today. And I made you something, I made you a present. It's Aww, custom. I brought you nothing. You brought me alcohol. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, so you might want to use your phone to look up like a picture of a Christmas tree or like, you know, if you can't. Why can't I just use a Christmas tree in your house? Wait, you don't have a Christmas tree? Are you a Scrooge? No, I'm just going through a lot right now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Need a Wait, did you get three carving pieces? I did. Oh, I'm better than you. I only got two. They knew. The he Well, wait, look. I think the picture. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, bonus. You got a bonus piece. Hey, it's like it's like when so, you go to McDonald's and you get like a chicken nugget in the fries. So this one is shaped like a like a U. You can cut more. See the one that's like a big wide U, and then this one's more like a V, which oh. is cutting fine. <clears throat> I have two V's and oh, only okay. one U. One can get a lot of mass out, and the other one is more fine. And you just kind of stick it in this little uh, little slot right here, and then you can just use it to carve. So first of all, you need to figure out what shape you want to do, and then we're going to carve it out. So this is a stamp that we will stamp upon a, a piece card. of paper. Yeah. So it can't be dumb. Well, or maybe it maybe it should be dumb. So like, do like a wreath or a Christmas tree or an ornament, like simple. But see, the difficulty here is I not only have to draw it, but then I also have to think carve of a simple it. flat icon shape. Like something like this would be a good shape to oh, aim for. Oh, like like a Christmas simple. tree icon. Something simple like this. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the face of Saint Nicholas. Here we go. No, you're not. Yeah. Adam, we have not that much time. Okay. 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 Twelve reindeer and a sleigh. I think I'm going to do a, 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 an ornament. Sam? Yeah? Question, are you a fan of Christmas music? Uh, that depends, I am. You are a Scrooge. No, I'm not a Scrooge. What I, kind, okay, go. Okay, like my go-to Christmas album? Yes. Harry Connick Jr. Oh. That fills me with cheer okay, and okay. nostalgia. I also enjoy, okay, this is dumb because it's dumb, but it was my mom's like thing and it was it was cute. My mom used to listen to the Ally McBeal Christmas CD. 
and like it's still Ally McBeal had a Christmas album? Yeah, and, and all the people on the show like sing the songs. What? Yeah, like Robert Downey Jr. does a version of um If I had a river, I would skate away on. Wish I had a river so long. Nothing. I got nothing. Oh. I do not know this song. It's a sad Christmas song. I forget who originally does it. It's like we're I love Christmas music. Um I listen to it throughout the month of December, but you know, I like the classics. Like the Bing Crosby. I like, dude, I like Bing Crosby you too. You know, all the 50s and 60s nostalgia. Santa baby, won't you make some stamps for you and me? We're gonna get copyright okay. violations. You have 30 seconds to finish your drawing. No! 30, 29, 28. Done! Okay, good. Okay, so do you understand that you carve out the negative space? Or did you carve out, did you draw what you're gonna carve instead of? I don't understand. Okay, so whatever you carve away is not going to stand. Right, so I have to think in my brain, what is the stamp? Yeah, so you should draw, <coughs> I guess I should have told you, you draw in black what would be the stamp. Oh, so you kind of did backwards. I did backwards. That's okay, then. and just a safety tip, you always wanna carve Let's see, do you away. think you should take charge towards your body? Like this, or <laughs> away from your body? Yeah, I was really thinking that if I did like this number, that I would get maximum, you know, dig. Okay, let's see. I, I'm not confident in my uh, uh, abilities on this one. The cool thing is, is, is the thing about this kind of craft is when you do it messy, it still looks really cute. <gasps> it's also extremely satisfying. I know, it's a good time. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. What was the greatest Christmas gift you ever got as a kid? Okay. Or adult. Uh, this one time in fifth grade, summer camp, and we did archery. It was my first time I had ever done archery in my life, and I loved it. And so I asked for a bow and arrow and a target for my backyard uh, when I came home. And they were like, no, 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 you know, you're gonna have to wait for Christmas, blah, blah, blah. That year for Christmas, there was a huge box by the Christmas tree, and I knew it was the target, like the big target for the backyard. I, uh, I figured, okay, there's gotta be a bow and arrow here too. So my mother and grandmother let me open the big target and open all my gifts and there was no bow and arrow, only the big target. And they're like, sorry, we couldn't afford the bow and arrow. We could only afford the target. Your birthday's in six months. Keep the, keep the target now, we'll get you the bow and arrow in six months. And I was so devastated. And they let me go on like 30 minutes like that and then 30, 30 minutes later, my grandmother was like, oh wait, there's one more gift behind the couch. And it was the darn bow and arrow. Oh my gosh, they really got you. But then I, uh, then I bow and arrowed all day on Christmas and didn't even eat. <laughs> <laughs> and he never ate again. I never ate again. What about you? Uh, well, the one that like literally changed my life, I remember getting my first iPod. I remember oh. getting the first iPod that they came out with, the first gen. And I was like, I have music in my fingertips forever because i used to be that kid with the walkman and the 500 yes. cd thing yes. in my backpack yes. that i would walk yes. to school with to like listen to lincoln park yes. and uh whatever corn corn yeah yeah i mean yeah perfect circle and like tool and also britney spears or whatever i was feeling that day so that was huge but i'll never forget when i was like five my i went to the store with my dad and i was like oh my god look at that telescope Oh. And um, I was like, I want this so freaking bad. And he goes, oh, really? Let's go look at the package. And so he looks at it, he says, oh, it says eight and up. Sorry, oh. sorry, kiddo, no telescope for you. And I was like, daddy, I'm so mature. I can handle it. I won't break it. I promise. I think it's okay. And he was like, no, we have to follow rules. He's like, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. He's like, listen, we have to follow the rules of the world. And that says for eight-year-olds and you are not eight. And I was just like devastated. Oh my gosh. I was like, I promise I'm a enough for the telescope. <laughs> and anyway. So then <laughs> Christmas day rolls around and I open up my presents and my dad has a tradition where Santa Claus has special wrapping paper. Ah, uh, yes. They only show up, you know, the, right, the, you know, the morning of, they're not under the tree. I see this big box and I'm like, what is this and from Santa? And I open it up and it's a telescope from Santa. And what did I do? I let my dad have it. Uh, you went ham on I him? said, I said, listen, listen, you dumbass. Santa Claus sees everything. He Santa knows, Claus knows the desires of my heart. No, Santa Claus knows that I am mature enough. You <laughs> sit here and say not not, and Santa Claus all knowing, omnipotent. <laughs> omnipotent all, Santa. All loving, but maybe not all powerful Santa Claus. <laughs> 
said, nah, daddy, you don't make the rules in this house. I say she gets a telescope. And my dad's sitting there just letting me make up, which what five-year-old hey. has the audacity? How you doing? I mean, hey, I think I'm doing it right. You're using the big one. Good, perfect. Yeah. I Isn't realized that I created some angles for myself that are kind of tight, so. But you're doing great. And the cool thing about this is the messier, the better. Like it does look good even when it's messy. I promise. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? <gasps> I know I asked you about music, but favorite do you have a Christmas song? Favorite Christmas song, favorite Christmas song. Mine used to be Oh Holy Night, but. Oh Holy Night slaps. It does. You know, sometimes, even though it's so cheesy, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? <laughs> okay, no. favorite Christmas movie. Oh my God. Right now, in, okay, Rudolph the Claymation and okay. also the Grinch. I love the Grinch movies Which so Grinch? Much. The original animated Grinch or the Jim Carrey? The Jim Carrey Grinch. He creeps me out. I know. A creepy Christmas. People don't like it, but the baby, <laughs> the baby going, Santa. Okay. <laughs> so many people's babies look like the Grinch baby to me because the babies are just generally kind of assholes. So just, <laughs> they're just, it's just so good. I don't know. And they like poke fun at like people keeping up with the Joneses and you know. It's it is just, brilliantly written. That's for sure. I love it. I love it so much. My favorite is of course, Elf. Elf. I love Will Ferrell. I'm a huge Will Ferrell fan. I'm a big SNL fan. And yeah, so. I love Elf too. Elf is so wholesome. We've already watched it. We watched it on Thanksgiving that night. That was the beginning of Zoe Deschanel becoming the quirky girl icon. And it's true. Of all. That was pre-New Girl. Yeah, and she had her interesting like, I really can't start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, I want to sing like that! I have to go work. <laughs> This evening has been a very nice. How are you doing? How are we? What is our progress? Oh, I'm feeling really good. Good about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, uh, I'm good at this craft. Perhaps. I'm almost done with my carving. I, I so. do like that. I have two different size um, carvers. Yeah. Carver. If you buy a more expensive kit, you actually get like eight and you get a nicer handle, like, but if you use a Glowforge and you need like a logo carved out, you just stick that thing in there and you can make a stamp easy, easy. Okay, couple announcements. These Making It shirts are a campaign that I did. These are available on Etsy. They come with a beautiful card that says, um, it's an encouraging gift for somebody who maybe, you know, cause some people are making it big. Some people are making it rain. Some people are making it happen. And some of us are literally just making it by the skin of our teeth. But at the end of the day, we're all making it. Hey. And so, um, yeah, they, we have a limited uh, amount of them. We've sold 20% um, of our inventory. Ooh. And they just launched last week. So. Limited item. Limited item. And second thing is that we're having an event. I say we. Uh, Sam Can Do and Friends is having an event. It's an anti-market. It's a shopping opportunity. If you if you are local and you want to see um, some of the goods that I make on Glowforge and some other makers, it's I'll put the in the, uh, in the I will put the Hush. information in the uh, description box below. I'm really excited about the market that we're gonna have. It's gonna be such a good time. There's gonna be live music. It's all makers that like can't, af like that some of them can't afford like to go to the big markets that charge a bunch. And it's like making sure that nobody's like representing a court. Like you go to those markets and it has like people working for Sensi, and that's just going to somebody else. That's not really helping that person. Yeah. So there will be no MLM tables? No MLM tables. My mom is selling her crystals. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, crystals by Cindy. Crystals by Cindy. Well, they're crystals by Planet Earth, uh, um, uh, acquired by Cindy, resold by Cindy. Uh, so, crystals you know. Crystals by Planet Earth. Crystals by Planet Earth. Hey, look at me carving toward my chest cavity. Not safe. Don't don't try People this at home. People always children. act like I'm the most. I'm the most reckless. I'm the most dangerous. I'm being crazy. I'm gonna get hurt. I'm gonna rest it. Oh, oh my you, gosh. Oh, oh are cute. you saying that that's me? That's me in this relationship? I'm saying that's you right now. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm done. How, okay, but you like um, carved all of them. Yeah, like, like I just, all the I just, because I'm fast. You know what I mean? I think, okay, now we need to decide who are you gonna write your letter to? My letter? To Santa? Yeah, I think we should write to Santa. Let's write to Santa. So usually you would get some sort of cool, like, 
roller thing, but you can, look, you don't have to do everything the right way. Like, just <laughs> get the ink on there. That's what I'm putting on your tombstone. Look, dot, dot, dot. You don't have to do everything the right way. Okay, so let me get Crafty Cam in on this situation. Look, look, look. I just literally got this ink pad. Yep. And I just went, blah, 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 all over. And look, some of these little car pieces are gonna stick out on mine. I knew that you wouldn't like that on yours. I'm, I'm okay with it, so I left those pieces it's there. It's kind of the... And yeah. then, um, one, well, hold on. Once you're done, you put your card on top. You don't do it the other way. You put it like oh. this. Kind of rub around. And then you should have <gasps> a little stamp. Okay, let me try to do what Sam just did. <laughs> it's cute, right? Adam, it's Adam can do. What? Okay, step one. It's mess. <laughs> Egg house. Also, I just did a Also, holler at us, egg house. Um, how how did you do it? Ego. Ego. La, 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 la. Oh my gosh, la, la. yours looks fucking cute though. You actually did a really good job. Where's my food bag? Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the quintessential. Oh wait, I go like this. Blah, 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 blah. Come through, egg house. <laughs> I need more ink. Yeah, next time, it's ink. okay. You're gonna be great. We have 10 cards, so. I have a, uh, a hot take. Okay, I'm ready for your hot take. S'mores are trash. I love s'mores. I know there's lots of people starting fires, you know, in their backyards and their little fire pits this holiday season. They nasty. They dirty. They give me sticky. They involve dangerous items such as flames and skewers. They dirty. They nasty. They melty. They melt. <laughs> and they're impossible to actually accomplish successfully. <gasps> okay. It's I trash. Put, I just put my card on top. Oh, I, look, I, let I, me I'm, do the same. Sorry, I was on a rant. Okay, and then like, like, kind of let go, and then I'm gonna use this. <gasps> it's kind of like, and then I'm just gonna rub all over. I put pressure. I like this. I, think, I feel like it needs more. I think that was a solid strategy. Wait, this one. Yeah, here we go. Look, watch this. This is what I need. Ooh, watch me. Watch me. Okay, let's see. And let's go. Hey! Uh, Christmas time! That's really cool. I don't like my little edgies at the top, though. You want to cut them? I'm going to cut them. Okay, here you go. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my letter. Okay. All right, read your card. I want to hear what you got to say to Santa. Uh, oh, I'm going first? Oh, wait. Okay. Talk about what your hot take. What was it again? Uh, s'mores are trash unless they are stacked on top of a croissant. But see, look, this is a good s'more because you didn't have to do any of the dumb stuff to make it. Okay, read your card. Okay, here we go. Dear Santa, s'mores are trash. This Christmas, please bring me one black-on-black -black Bentley Continental GT Coupe. Also, please help Crafty Chats make all of the money and all of the views. Thank you. Your pal, Adam. P.S. Please reverse the effects of climate change and tear down the capitalistic patriarchy. Heart eyes emoji. Merry Christmas. I love that. Okay. What does your letter to Santa say? It says, Dear Mr. St. Nick, like I see you guy, you're trying some cool things. <laughs> I wonder about you. <laughs> 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 what cool things is he trying? Wait, do you miss it say Nick? So like I see you guy, you trying some cool things, but I wonder about your business model. Like are you really an elf? You seem larger and you're in charge. I wonder if you really are one of them, or did you colonize and appropriate their people for he what? Did. For what? To make sure that European descended kids have Xboxes? <laughs> Not hating, just seeing if you uh you got that model, uh, uh, or oh, if you got that much mystical powers, there's some things you might want to, you know, consider. There's some notable issues, like the water crisis. Like, um, <laughs> like also, do elves have unions? I feel like that's important. Just thinking, <laughs> just thinking about it. Okay, Sam. <laughs> you know what? That's a that's a great that's a great Thank letter. You. That's a great letter. I really get the Christmas spirit from that letter. But you know what would send this? to the next level. A stamp. Uh, that was. <laughs> a stamp. <laughs> Send this. Deep. Send this. Oh my God. 
Thank you. You are an amazing, <laughs> you are an amazing counterpart. You deserve to sit next to me. Seal it, but we want to be fancy. You, you know what we're going to do? We're going to wax seal these. <gasps> do I have my own family crest? You have. What is this, a crack pot? A crack pot, it's literally melting wax. It straight up looks like you're about and to look, melt down methamphetamine. Look at, okay, turn around, look at the back of my shirt. Sam can do. We literally have a tiny little logo <gasps> that we're gonna stamp into the wax. You're but like guess the queen what? of England. But guess what? Yours isn't from me, so you got one that says Adam J. Cheney. No. <laughs> oh! I feel like the king of England. Let me put my I'm... crest upon this parcel. Okay, pick out your colors. I'm oh. gonna choose. Salt. <gasps> Look at this. Would you like me to go first or do you wanna go light first? Light it up. Oh, you go first for sure. It's a little tea light. I like that. Mm-hmm. With Hold your on. makeup. Welcome to the Adam Crafts Show, where I sit among the uh, carcasses of a craft. Oy. <laughs> oh my God! This this is crafty chats. Oh my God! God damn! This really okay, took put, a turn. Put, put, put your things in there. I mean, maybe I we assume can it's fix gonna it. be hot AF. Nah, it's Bob, bada, 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 yeah, bada, it's for you. Ha! <laughs> Sam can not do. Ow! I mean, it went from solid to liquid. Okay, I think you're good. Here we go. I feel like it's 1786, and I'm sending a letter. Well, as a Latina female, I'm really glad it's not that day and time in the world. True. You know, we had to like fight for suffrage. I wonder if men should make their case. They never really had to. Yeah. <laughs> he went, wow. Drop it in, press it, press it down. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing in the entire world. Turn okay, it upside I saw down. I don't go in mine because uh, I didn't want to clean it up. <gasps> My God. <gasps> fuck, fuck, fuck. Why? What? God! <laughs> up, Sam. <laughs> oh, you would get fancy with it. That is gorge. So much pain for such beauty. Okay, so now. Like, if the edges are hard, go ahead and press on the edge with your thumb. Uh, like this edge? Yeah, and then pull up. Okay, I'll pull up. <gasps> oh, it's so cute! Okay, okay, show the big camera too. Sign, seal, delivered, I'm yours! That is so pretty. That's amazing. Look at this cute little, look at our cute little cards. He's not gonna know what's in this letter once he sees how pretty this is. Santa, he, Santa, he might not even open them because he doesn't want to break the seal. Look, how, how on a scale of one to 10, how painful was this crap? Not, it was a, a one. We love you guys, again. Merry Christmas. Making it t-shirts, available now at the link below, uh, limited time offer. Also, Anti-Market is coming up. Information about that, as always, if you want to buy Glowforge, which I used to make these. Glowforge! You can get $500 off. Crafty Cam almost died again, but she oh. saved it! This is a recurring theme. Keep watching. You never know what we're going to do next. Crafty Chats.